I'm Dave. I'm Steve. I'm Dad. And I'm Son. Welcome to another episode of the DJ Project, episode 72. So this week at DJ Project is going to be an interesting one. We are using the trailer. What you can see behind me. Will it be cost effective? You'll soon find out. We have got grabs on. We have got a driveway to complete with tarmac and the brindle pavers. Stevie has got an interesting one, but a very, very hard one. Everyone is smashing it as usual and we're all pulling together. Hope you enjoy this episode. Good morning. It is Monday morning. It is a busy, busy morning. What have we got? We've got the trailer on. I've been studying all weekend how we can legally tow this trailer. Right, here's a little insight I'll explain later. Anyone but passed after January 1997 now can legally tow a trailer weighing up to three and a half ton, seven meters long, 2.4 2.2 meters wide, for what I could grasp. Right, three and a half tonners, if they carry a ton on the back of these, you have to take that ton off the back of the capabilities of the trailer. So you lose on the trailer, but we are gaining because we're taking twice as much now, legally, however you know, legally. So me, Stevie, Jordan, Chelsea, Berner, everyone who's got a license who's passed after that date has now can legally tow a trailer. So we're gonna have to give a bit of training on the trailer, because I don't believe Jordan would be that confident <laughs> but it's at this reversing and you can't see that when you reverse but it makes it a lot easier when there's weight on it stevie is loading up some post creek he's going to the same destination so all three of us are going to the same destination and then stevie's going to drop some bags off after that but yeah it's made it so we can get three deliveries on two vans cost saving is going to be a little bit better i believe if it works it works if it don't it don't what have I spent so far? Probably £2,000. Just under £2,000. Trailer, tow bar fitted. So yeah, probably £2,000 we've spent so far. Let's see if the savings work out. We are going to be able to use the trailer for the digger, the power barrow, any machinery we pick up, as long as it doesn't weigh more than that three and a half ton. So yeah, it, I, I think it's going to work. I think it really is. So let's see. Let's get to the job. So welcome back to another day and another week at d and I know my dad has just explained to you, or just spoke to you at least, I'm not sure what he said, but I know I just want to say a massive thank you for all the support that you gave us on last Sunday's video. If you've watched Wednesday's video, you know we've got a trailer. If you haven't watched Wednesday's video, you're slacking guys, no other word for it. But a big shout out to everyone that supported on both sets of videos, massively appreciate it. And did everyone like the thumbnail on Sunday's video just gone? It took me an hour to make that, a proper hour to make that thumbnail, so hopefully you all liked it, it's on screen now. But yeah guys, it's me, it's Jordan, it's Jordan, it's my dad, big deliverer. Um, and I've just heard that my dad said, I've got an interesting one, but a very, very hard fencing job coming up. I ain't seen it, I'm a bit worried, but first, Let's get this delivered. Freedom, I never had the chance to run. Leave behind the sin done. Figure out what's to come. So then guys, we're here, and some of you may be thinking, why is he reversing down the road? Well, if I was to have turned right down this road, it would have been on my right hand side, apparently, the address. That's what the sat nav said. And some of you should know by now, the grab, big red, can only really unload from the left hand side. So that's the reason I'm reversing all the way down this road. And I thought I'd clarify that because I had a feeling Someone might make a comment. It's a big delivery, guys. Panels behind, concrete on the front. Well, 
One down. One to go. Two down, guys. One more to go. So that's a nice big delivery all sorted for this chap now nah, it's back to the yard for us guys i'm gonna go do another grab a soil grab i won't bother showing you that one but dad right there is gonna take you along to his morning journey so i guess i'll catch you guys up later back in the grab i would say that was a success leave a comment down below if i'm doing it right if whatever you're towing behind i know we can tow three and a half ton you take that weight off the flatbed so if we put a ton on the flatbed and the trailer's three and a half we can only tow, tow two and a half behind us let me know down in the comments if i got this right because it's very very vague on the internet what i can find out without ringing ddla up in fact i i'll probably ring the transport manager up actually just saw that uh ring him up and have a word of him see what he says but that's that's my understanding anyway but yeah i say that was a success yeah really really good happy with it we'll see if it works for other projects only time will tell but yeah what am i doing now i've got that muck if you watched wednesday's video you will know i've got some muck on the back i'm going to go and get that tip so after we're coming back picking road soon up and then we're going out to the uh driveway job so yeah stay tuned you're gonna come with me and jordan today you're going with stevie and Ann. they've got a different one i don't think he's gonna like me on that one but yeah we did the driveway job there as well but yeah less talking let me get my vehicle checks done let me get my taco in let me get gone so welcome back we are on the driveway job what is the plan today let me show you so what we're doing we're going to take it a foot down our finished level is that there so a foot down roughly about three bricks down all the way around same over there take it all down it's nice and clay so it's nice and solid all the way along here all the way around the foot down there that's finished level on that great there down there practically done the manhole under there which got sort out but jordan's going to dig this out i'm going to quickly go and do a grab and i'm coming back we found that pipe and it's dead the customer is right what they've done extended that pipe there into that drain over there as soon as we get string lines up and it's all dug out we're going to stone it up and we'll work out levels whether we fall it from here all the way over to where jordan stood now or we fall it from there to the curb side it'll all depend where we put the acos in whether we put the acos along the front or we put them along the side or whether we need acos if we run it to this side we could put a gravel track in but we'll see as soon as we got it clear we'll be able to put some string lines up and work out where it's falling at the minute it does look like it falls from there to where i'm stood but we'll see jordan's gonna stick it on a time lapse i'm gonna go and do the grab and then i'll see you soon
bathing. Yes, they are using me this time, so you don't need to comment on his channel. What's that? You've actually given us a ring, haven't you, mate? What do you mean? Do a grab for you. Oh, yeah, that too, yeah, because we keep getting threatened. <laughs> <laughs> Terror. But yeah, we're doing this grab for BP paving. Let's get it on. The storage struggle is real. You only seen a little bit of that time lapse. But it's all on and gone. Next time you see me, I will be tipping this off. So we've tipped off, tipped on our pile over there. Now it's roadstone. We're going to take eight, seven or eight ton to our job and we'll meet Jordan on site. So let's get this on. And there we have it, all loaded up. Now we're going to head out to Jordan. Got a bit of pipe, which I've got behind there. Going to chuck that on. I'm going to lay a bit of pipe in for the customer. But next time we see us, we're back on site. Back on site. Jordan has been cracking on gas cable. So we we'll just dig around this. Expose that a bit more. That bit of ducting we're going to put from there to there so when he puts his MTL cable back in or if he has any problems I don't have to dig the drive up but yeah we've done Jordan's done really well you can see three bricks about a foot we'll build it back up again first job is grab this muck out of the way So we just need to make some room because I want to get that stone off. So I'm going to jump on the digger now and blade this off and bring this down. Chuck it over here and Jordan just jump on there and chuck all the stone down here because this area then is all done. We're just setting the string line up. We're going to do a string line straight across, see what depth we need to take out of here. So we'll get that done and then we'll show you. So the string line's up now. We have got a good depth underneath there. We took all that away. You should only be about half of that gravel board out there by the time we've done in fact i'm gonna put that duct in first wait i'll put the duct in first jordan's getting carried away he's on the uh on the grab straight away gotta put a bit of duct in here first so let's get our in it and jordan will lift that up he'll keep on threading till it comes out Need two hands, hang on. So there we go. Ducked in there to there. George, we'll put some stone down, we're going to level it off and then press it down to the floor. But yeah, bit of string on there, look. And we tied it to a stick there so it can't go back down again. Let's get some stone on this then. There we have it. So it's only going to be underneath the stone. Jordan's just dropping them down there. Uh, then we're gonna level them off. There we have it all dug out, stones there. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna spread all this stone out so they've got something to walk on and get it near enough level. Then tomorrow, we'll get a good whack and sort of levels out. So there we have it, we spread it out, just roughly, so it's nice and safe for the customer. We're all going to do now, wrap up, and then we'll come back tomorrow. Probably start laying some blocks tomorrow. If we get some levels in, we can probably get some blocks in. I'll say we're going to have brindle all the way around, the cut-off point there. We've got to build that section up so the water comes down there. That's what the rest of that stone's for. 
with that said, let's go and see what Stevie's doing. So hello guys, Dan has just passed it over to give you a little preview of this job that we are doing. It's gonna be a Wednesday video, guys. Let me just run through what we are doing. So this is new. It used to look like this, but it had posts like this, crumbling away. Customers asked if we'll replace it all using old gravel boards, using new gravel boards, all new gravel boards. And then this bad boy, oh my God, look at these castles. These are the weight of two gravel boards, if not more, because there's a lot more steel and they're just dense, they're heavy guys. But all of those castles pretty much need replacing. You see them like this, that's why it's being replaced. You see that gravel board in the middle? No one wants to see a gravel board like that. No one wants to see a post like that. So that post has got to be replaced. So that means those two bays have got to come out. Not looking forward to that. Oh, we are there because that is going to be bloody awkward and hard because look how tall it is. How'd you lift a double sized gravel board up there? We've got steps, but it's going to be hard. Well, if you want to see this one and you want to see me and Asnes struggle like crazy, then you need to come back on a Wednesday video. I'm not sure if it's this week, next week or whenever, guys, but it's going to be a Wednesday video. So make sure you come back for that. But from me and Asne, that's enough for today because we're going to concentrate on this. You're going to go and catch up with my dad. So yeah, I guess we'll see you later. Hello, good morning. It is Tuesday morning and we are up bright and early. We have got some spoil down there for BP and I've already tipped some recycled roadstone for BP. So yeah, BP's used this this week. We've managed to work it out together. Don't always work like that. Don't always work like that. Sometimes we're mega, mega busy. And we share the work out. We're all friends in the grab trade. We're all friends in the landscaping trade. Oh, we all know each other. So we'll help each other out. We all spread the work out. But yeah, first job is grab that. Let's get that off. Just here with Nick. <laughs> and it just says, look at Bert's legs. So this is, so Dave's actually <laughs> witnessing this first hand look. The camera don't do it justice. Just look at this guy. Look at that. Look at that tea stains on the teacup. Look at that. Festive Jesus. Bri Festive British. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no, no, like that. Oh. A little bit. Yeah, but Bert's nice, alive. Nice film. Yeah, nice time to see me. Oh, back in the yard. On the grab! From my dad's phone's knackered, so you might not see those clips now, guys. So, unfortunately, I don't know how long this video is going to be because I don't know what clips my dad has got now because I don't think he can use the phone. But we're starting our morning with a bit of grabbing. A bit of hardcore is going in our bag just through there. Jordan's got the telly truck now. He's going to guide dad in and over. Here's the stone going. Ooh. Does this remind anyone of those arcade games where you had to try and grab the toys? I know it does for a few, does it to a lot of you? So there's one bag full, and it's going on Big Red out there. With those ones now, guys, I need a black eye. Someone's having some nice decorative stone. I love to see it, it's my favorite one. I need to get some posts fixed and then I need to get nine more gravel boards on this wagon. Wouldn't normally take concrete on this wagon, but my job's in NG17, the grab's in NG17. Makes sense, right? Just go and do the delivery. Fly to my job with me and a Mason. Need three guys today because it's heavy, heavy lifting today, guys. And I don't think two guys will be able to do it without breaking themselves. So I need that third pair of hands. I will show you a little bit, but it is going to be more of a Wednesday video, that one, guys. Like I said, I've not saw it, but apparently my dad's phone's broke, so I don't know what he's going to be filming. So I'm going to try and fill it in where I can. Tomorrow and Friday, there's going to be a lot of content coming. I'll make sure you get around about 45 minutes to an hour's worth of video. Hopefully, my dad can get his phone fixed. But yeah, let me go get this black ice and crack on. So here we go. So dad's got sleepers, cement, and a few bags going on the grab now. He's got to make sure he's away from that telephone wire just there, which he's got plenty of room. And then Jordan's going to jump up and just guide it in. And then that is dad all loaded. 
three guys deep, gonna get ready and go and do that delivery. So here we are, we've got Ant gonna be locking on the bags up there. Mason's gonna be getting the bags down and we're gonna be putting them here just in front of this garage with enough room for the garage to be open. Let's get them in. And there we go, guys. Gotta go, because there's someone that wanted to go out. Let's get... So, good morning. I don't know how this is gonna work, so I'm on my iPad. So yeah, my phone smashed yesterday. Dropped out of cab and ran over it. <laughs> Not the best. Not the best, so yeah. I don't know if I've lost the footage. My new phone comes tomorrow, I believe. But yeah, I'm on the iPad, probably do a bit of filming on Jordans. We've just done a grab for one of our traders. <laughs> we found that in it. That car. It was Aspler. Tell it's Aspler because the back window smashed up. <laughs> but yeah, we found this Alfa Romeo. Me and Jordan did. Jordan just went to get Costas. Yeah, it's cold one this morning. I've still got shorts. I've got a bet on with a lucky DZ Topper, I think you called him. But yeah, who can stop his shorts longest? Tenor. I need to ring him up because I know if he's cheated today and I've got shorts on because I'm absolutely freezing. But yeah, we're going to get some more footage of the driveway drive. We couldn't do yesterday because I saved my phone smashed. But yeah, we'll do our best today. The GoPro's uh, charged up. I'll do some filming on the GoPro. But yeah, yeah, let's get to the driveway job. So welcome back, we're on the iPad. We have got the GoPro up there. Let me just show you what we're up to. So I can't remember what you'd seen at this job last time. I have to get used to this iPad. My phone comes, I believe it might come tomorrow. So we've ran blocks there all around. Just got to take that little tiny bit off there. Same with that side. Ramp blocks, sort the levels out. Two below damp, two below damp there. All the water flows from right to left. This footage is really, really jittery. I really apologise about this. So, at the minute, we're running blocks down there. We're going to set that frame and cover. Jordan's going to bring some bricks out, and then we'll do the same over there. We'll shift the digger out of the way blocks down there then we'll come round this wall and run blocks here and across I'm gonna put some edgings along this front we've left the tarmac we haven't topped it off because we're gonna to top them both off together when we do it so it looks nice and fresh and don't get damaged I've got to talk to the customer about this down here the drains are too low but I can't move the drains up the like little pops so they're all set at different heights and then we've got that footing off that wall which is going to make it really difficult. I have suggested to the customer we dig it out, we stone it, we membrane it and we put some nice decorative stone down here because it's just a path to get to the back garden rather than tarmac because if I tarmac it I've got to leave that down. I can't fall it from left to right towards the house not really the right way of doing stuff ideally i'd like to pull it from right up there down to here but to get that to fall it's some distance and i don't know i just think what they're going to gain i think a nice decorative stone will look nice down here plus the added security if someone's walking down you'll hear them i don't know Got to have a word with the customer about that one. But yeah, this is our job today. I'm going to start putting these in. GoPro's on top of the grab, so it's going to catch us. But yeah, let's get cracked on. So 
Jordan just whacked that. And what we're doing now is just going to do me a four and one mix, nice and strong. We're going to put concrete bricks around that frame and cover, set that, put another string line from that line over there. Can you just see that line? Into the blocks. And we're going to set that frame and cover. But yeah, just whacked that so we can put the remainder of the four and one sand and ballast mix down there. Got that going around in there. Oh, this is really close up. Got that going around in there, needs a bit more water in for brickwork. But yeah, we'll put that on. Go pro set up there. You can watch me do that. <laughs> This drain here there used to be a porch there and it used to connect up there. So it's redundant now. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut it off there, place one of these clay to plastic joiners on, get some bends, bend it round to a gully pot in this corner, which will be this. We're gonna get that gully pot in that corner, blocks around the outside, and then all the water falls into this corner and it'll take the water away. The customer wasn't, wasn't quite happy with the gravel trap was gonna put in, so now we're gonna move, keep the blocks going nice and close next to the fence, and nice and close next to the wall. There'll be a tiny bit of gravel just in between, and that'll be it. But yeah, that's what we're planning on doing now. So we'll get it all connected up and we'll show you. Jordan just pointed all that up nice and neat. I'm gonna fly them blocks in in a minute. That's a drainage situation. Like I say, everything falls into this corner and that's gonna catch it. I'm just gonna get the customer out because her husband's away at the minute. So he just wants a quick photo to make sure he's happy with that. But yeah, there's enough fall on that. Yeah, there's enough fall on that. That'll fly into that. I'm just gonna tap that down very, very slightly, probably five mil. I've just put them blocks in there, they're not set properly yet. And I've got to cut a block so it finishes on there. So it looks nice and neat, but it's just to show the customer so I can take a picture. But yeah, let's get cracked on and we'll fill it up. We are, we are 
Guys, we've put some edgings in. It looks a little bit higher there. The only reason being there's a dip there. We're going to take that out with the tile mark. We're going to take the tile mark over there and down to our curb. But yeah, so we've gone through there. Managed to get all the way around. If you've seen the drainage, we're going to draw that down there. But having that said, that's another day at D and J. Me and Jordan, we'll see you in the morning, guys. In the morning. Morning! It is a Thursday a morning and we are on the grab. Stevie's on the grab. We've got fencing to do, we have got backdrop pops to do, we have got quarries to visit and we have got the driveway job just to get a few more blocks in for tarmac ready for tomorrow. I don't know where I'm looking on this. I think I'm looking down there. Yeah. Yeah. Phone comes tomorrow or comes today. I let back tomorrow so we're back to normal foot. I don't know how grainy or anything this is. Because like I say it's an old iPad. Well, yeah, let's get to that quarry up some Warwick Skull though. Busy. My car's gone in for a grill, so I've had to pick that up. Now, what we're going to do? We are bagging the Warwick's of gold up. So we're going to bag the Warwick's of gold up. We're sitting on a time lapse. We're going to get that done, and then we're going out to the driveway job. social medias don't know if they are pink 
We'll wash one off and we'll find out what they are. But yeah, we've got Warwick's gold, we've still got some black ice left. We've got some Cornish silver, we've got pea gravel, we've got grey slate, we've got plum slate. Yeah, plenty of aggregates in stock. So if you do need any, give us a shout. What me and Jordan doing now, loading up for the driveway job and we're going to get sorted and we'll see you on site. So we're back, you'll have to excuse the noise, the burglar alarm's going off. We have checked, we can't see a burglar. All we've got to do today is put them in, them blocks come down here and they turn in. And then we've got to clear the site and stone up and then we're ready for tarmac for tomorrow. Haven't clarified with the customer what we're doing about that, but it's not going to affect us anyway. We'll probably uh, give him a call tonight and we'll find out what he wants to do. There is a little bit of stone that needs to go down there as well. But yeah, let's get these in. Search for you, stay Search for you, stay There you go. It's all ready for tarmac. Eighty mil deep. It's a nice covering. Fifty mil base, thirty mil topping. Everything falls from this corner down to that corner. There will be a little bit, tiny bit of excess water, which goes onto the road. A bit minimal, but yeah. Tomorrow, we will cut this out here because it's a bit of a dip. We'll raise that iron work there and we'll top this off as well. But yeah, it looks good, looks really good. I'm happy with it. Customers just got to put the MCL diamond cable virgin, whatever they call themselves now, into that, that blue duct in, and then we'll cut that off and put a nice tidy block around it. The same with that, and we'll cut that off and put a nice tidy block around it. Yeah, we're all complete. So me and Jordan are head back to the yard, unload, and then we've got another job to do. As you gathered by the time lapse, we've got in the wrong wrong door or in the wrong entrance. We managed to get onto the uh, quarry floor, spun round, found the way bridge. Now they're saying they can't load us because we've got a crane, but it's not a problem. We've spoke to the guys at the way bridge. They're really, really helpful here. Unbelievable, really, really helpful. Dead out of character, normally horrible, but these these guys want the job. It was really, really helpful. Yeah. Uh, just to told us they could put a bucket of the dust on a bucket of the six mil, but we're going to mix it ourselves. Just got to send them an email saying we're happy with that, and there'll be no comebacks because normally it comes mixed. So, yeah, we're collecting granny dust, just sitting here now, just sent an email waiting for the guy to come over and come and get us, and then he's going to load us up so it's not a wasted journey because this is Leicester and it's a fair way out. So, yeah, stay tuned, we will be waiting. Hello guys and welcome back to another day at D and J. It is me and Asne on a fencing job. Get past these bees and moss, bloody hell. There's a nest in there. Yeah, we're on a fencing job today using sort of hit and miss panels, horizontal panels, single sided, um, but super close joins. So you probably can't really see through them. But let me just show you what we're doing today. So this 
that's all staying because this used to be part of the can tools and it's holding all of this camp rail fence up. You see how they're holding them up, guys? So the original plan, bearing in mind we're going all the way to the corner where that concrete post is, all the way to this one here. This job is bigger than I remembered. I thought it was four bays. It's actually around about eight or nine now. So that's my bad. Obviously, we've priced correctly for it. The original plan was to go in between. So it was going to fence from here to in between. There was loads of brambles here, guys. Obviously, we've just been digging it away and getting started before we started filming. But once we've got rid of all the brambles and bits, we can really see that the timber posts are being held up by this. So the plan was to snip this, snip this, concrete post in, screw it in with the concrete screws. But we can't do that now because that fence would fall over. So I spoke to the customer. What we're going to do, we're going to get rid of all these slabs. And we're actually going to fence in line in front now. Because as you can see, the line's pretty good. So that's pretty much what we're going to do there is we're going to get rid of all these slabs get our first post gravel board and post in reason we're doing it that way is because jamie hasn't made the panels yet because again there was going to be inside here so there was going to be custom panels now they don't need to be there are going to be pretty much six by fives we just need to get our post up to six foot tall from ground six foot tall from ground gravel board five foot either side we're good to go so once we get that first one in we'll catch back up I said we'll catch up after one, but it's the same principle. So I thought we'd just do three and then catch up, guys. So we've kept it as tight as we can to this. It's not from the gravel, but it's actually from the posts running past. And because these posts run, can you see how they run at an angle, guys? The top makes it look like they're further away from the panels than they actually are. Well, I guess they actually are further away, but the bottom obviously comes down like this. So the bottom is what we're running to. Can you see the far post? It's at the bottom of that post. But as you get up top, it's quite a bit of a difference. And obviously, we're running in a straight line. So yeah, it's pretty much the same principle. Working our way down here. Obviously, just breaking up slabs because we're getting rid of these. Chucking them in the barrel, taking them around front. Simple as this. Let's get rid. All slabs are pretty much out. Just going to rake this about now. Get a bit of a level. Pull the stuff out that we don't need. Got a gravel board. Going to start digging a hole. And continue with this. So they were really, really helpful at that quarry. Really, really helpful. I've got six more clean and I think four to naught dust, whatever they call it. I'm going to mix it up on the back of the ground, turn it into the product we need, which is six, six more granny dust, and then we're going to bag it up. It's a bit of a pain, but rather than being a wasted journey, they let us do that. Really, really nice of them. Didn't have to, could have sent us on our way, but yeah. Pulled over, I get a cost look, so I'm not going to get one there. Time is half past four, so we need to get back to the yard. Good morning, it is Friday morning. I forgot to film what we did last night. What I'll show you what we did last night. These bags here, granny dust in. I know what granny dust is. It's that. It's a six mil stone with a dust mixed in with it. So yeah, we did four, eight, 12, 14, 16. 16 and a half bags last night and then we was on our way left here at seven o'clock last night there was me jordan jordan and jamie jamie's bringing some wooding because jamie's off next week along with us yeah what we're doing today we've got two grabs to do i missed the grab yesterday so i've got to quickly do that that's why we're in early jordan's just fetching the grab now i'm just waiting for him around the front yeah we'll get this grab on and I believe we have got another one to do and a wood one. And then we're on the driveway job doing the tarmac. So yeah, busy, busy, busy. Always busy on a Friday. Yeah, we love it. Steve's not here yet, but he will be probably in the next 15 minutes. He'll get here, probably won't see him there. I know he will film. Yeah, let's crack on with our day. So I've just checked my lights, make sure my lights are working. Now I'm doing visual checks, wheel nuts. Make sure no springs. Bro, wheel nuts, battery cover, anything that might be a hazard I'm looking for, kicking the wheels, making sure not flat, make sure the springs are all right, marker lights are all lit up. Let's say I've already checked me lights. Same on this side. Fuel tank, no leaks, looking underneath. Can't hear no, no air leaking. Yeah, all visual checks. Like I said, I've already been round it. I'm gonna show you guys what I look for. 
yeah, it all looks good. We drive them every single day, so we know. But yeah, everything looks all good. So, nah, we could be on our way. Is it okay if I'm the same? I'm catching feelings from all the dealings. Am I astray? What do you say? How are you feeling? Is it the same? I hope you're not planning to waste my time. To my surprise, that was her reply. Now we your vibe. It's been a while and such a ride of stars aligned. I can see by the time lapse that was tight. And what makes it even more difficult? It's in this corner. Yeah. Probably do with being over a little bit more. So just going to get that car shifted there. So here we have it. Nice and tight. We'll see how much of this we can get. See, we're getting out nice and slow there. This is a dike, what they're doing. See, just put your grab balls on there, retain and get the dike back. But yeah, it's a bit awkward. I'm on full reach. But we'll get it out. Bit of an awkward one to start the morning off. But yeah, what he's going to do is just continue then gravel boards down there and they'll fill the remainder in. But yeah, we'll tip this one back at the yard and then we've got another one to do. Tight squeeze all the way up. That's another one tipped. Just putting the body down now, then Jordan will do the arm and we'll the next one. Here's the next one, let's get it on. There we have it, all on, let's get gone. That's on. We can squeeze Blake's on because that's another small one. That's the added advantage of having a mighty wide. We can get two grabs on this. So we're gonna to top it up with Blake's and then we're going to go and tip it off and then we've got one more to do before we do the driveway. So next time you see us, we'll be grabbing Blake's one. Here we are. Let's get it grabbed. She my do or die, my bona fide, my up and I'm down, she's always beside me, she makes me feel alive. There we go, all on, now let's get tipped off. So we've all tipped off now, now what we're doing, we're going to grab some tarmac from a tarmac yard. Stevie's loaded all the tools up, so he's going to meet us on the job. Yeah, tarmac time. Hello guys, good morning, it's Friday. Last thing you saw from me and Ant yesterday was we was putting those posts in those gravel boards and was around about halfway. Well, we finished that 
around about four last night and then we decided to cut some membrane and chuck some pea gravel down about half of it but i didn't think i'd show you because it was a little bit sort of boring same thing because there's no panels there wasn't really much of a transformation just yet but ant and ant have gone to that job today to finish it off Ant's going to take some pictures for me when the panels are in in my head guys it's going to look splendid going to look very very nice indeed i've just been on the grab this morning my dad and jordan are on the grab as well i'm going to get this grab ready for the driveway job the tarmacking so i'm going to get it all ready for when them lads get back so we can all fly out there and smash that driveway to finish the week but yeah it's a pleasure having you here as always guys please like comment and subscribe to this channel it would very much mean the world to me and my dad and all of the nj project so we're in the tarmac yard now just under just waiting for time Matt. what we've gone for we've gone for five ton of base 20 mil base and three and a half ton of six mil topping so yeah as soon as it hits the deck what we'll do we'll pull forward so they drop in the six mil first and then 20 mil so we'll drop all the six mil at the front and 20 mil at the back there we have it two mans just waiting for a bit more of the base there we go is that it Probably one more. No, that's it. So now we pull out. Do it up. Jordan will show you. That's how we do. We sheet it up on the bag. So it's got a Hessian sheet underneath our sheet. And that keeps it warm. Yeah, next time you see us, we'll be with Steve and Ant on the job. So we're back, guys. Jordan's just breaking that out now. I'm going to raise that man over there. Steve is just doing the tarmac job is going to be done today apart from that down there the customers are away at the minute and i want to discuss their options when he gets back i prefer him to be here so i'll just go ahead and do it so let's get on a time lapse and let's get done So here we have it. This one is complete on the front. The weather is against us. We are absolutely drowned. All we're done, a little bit of pea gravel to match the brindle block pavers. Drain there in the corner. And like I said, I'm gonna to talk to the customer, talk about some options with that side there. Still sticky as you walk on it. Yeah, heavens have opened. Me and Jordan now are going to lay the rest of that tarmac in a pothole in the yard. So we'll see you back at the yard. So hello guys. Uh, you just saw us doing the tarmac in at that driveway job. And then my dad and Jordan are taking some tarmac back to the yard. I think my dad mentioned it. But Ant and Ant came to the job that me and Ant... It's going to get confusing. I know, Ant, Ant and me. <laughs> but 
those guys come back to the job early on and slid some panels in. We just needed an adjustment on two of the panels. It's looking good, let me just show you. If it's too windy, which I think it is, I'm just gonna put a little bit of music over this. Not too shabby. So this last one of the day, probably gonna have to leave this on me and Stevie going all day on Monday. We got rid of the tarmac back in the yard. We'll show you that when we get back to the yard, but it's absolutely hammering it down. So I think what we'll do, we'll get rid of this with the clicky fingers. There we have it. Oh God. Oh God. I'm on the back. I'm just going to get a cup of tea now and then head back to the it though. Just stop raining now and we're absolutely drowned it. But our good mates brought a cup of tea. So we're back in the yard guys. Oh, they're on it, but I think we need to go a little bit higher. So I'll have a word with the moor ends and see if the moor ends can just chuck a bit more on it just to build it up. But yeah, our beloved swans are back. So we're back. You've just saw that my dad's just been with the swans. Yeah. He has done that tarmac and he said he was going to show you. But we're at work tomorrow, so I'm going to take a picture and then show you on that. Um, so you're going to you're, 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 you're going to see it right now. So that brings us to the end of the video. You have seen the completion of the driveway job. Driveway, yeah. Done some lovely fencing with them nice hit and miss panels. We've done plenty of grabs. We've seen the return of the swans. Show some lovely swans in the comments down below. And can't you tell that autumn is here? Weather has changed. So we'll see you in the next one.